while almost a third of the world's internet traffic flows through Akamai servers. The White House is a customer, so is MIT. And David Kenny is the president of that company, Akamai Technologies. He's here with us for an exclusive interview. Welcome to In Business. Glad to be here. You know, Scarlett uh, just laid out something that happened to a, a company being hacked. We hear these stories day in, day out. You have so much traffic going through your servers. How do you protect your clients from these vulnerabilities? Yeah, so it's, we take security very seriously. It's one of the advantages of working with Akamai. Um, and we're constantly finding new ways to solve it. Uh, so many of these hackers find ways to get through firewalls, which was the traditional way of of defense and that still exists and is important but a lot of what we're doing as we move to cloud computing is to find solutions out at the edge of the internet. Um, we're around the world as you know we're in 750 cities close to people who might be trying to get in when we find them coming in we find a way to sort of deflect them away from sites before they ever get there. Mm -hmm. um, so I think a lot of the way we want to fight this war is fight it back where the hackers are coming from which is not generally in the same country as the place is being hacked. You said, it, you just used the word war. I know we had a, a quote from uh, the CIA director, soon to possibly yeah. be at the Pentagon, uh, Leon Panetta, saying uh, that he's concerned of a possible Pearl Harbor-like scenario. Is, is that the level of threat? And if so, where's that threat coming from? Listen, I, I think that uh, the world is increasingly connected. Um, there are bad people in the world who want to find a way to steal information or cause damage and we all rely on it. So we are working closely with governments, law enforcement, and companies mm -hmm. to make sure you, you can defend against it. But, but we, ha we have to be vigilant. But that's a state threat or that's a, a corporate threat? There, there, are, there are, unfortunately there are both military security questions and, or state questions, and commercial ones. And we're trying to defend against both. Okay, because I had read that Akamai had, had found that uh, Russia was often the most uh, frequent source of some of these attacks. Is that still it, the case? It, um, I don't know today. It, it, it changes every day. Unfortunately, yeah. there's a couple hundred attacks every day. Luckily, we stop them, so you don't know them. Um, but we do report back publicly uh, the countries from where they're coming from, um, and it does change. Okay. Uh, but, it, but again, most of them are from outside the U.S. in, uh, as far as U.S. attacks. So we need to take this as a very global problem. Well, let's talk about uh, your industry, your business uh, in, in more detail here. Um, CDN is the term that's thrown around to, to translate that content delivery network a right. lot. The term the cloud is probably uh, how people most frequently refer to uh, the line of business that you are in. What are you seeing in terms of uh, traffic, in terms of media revenue in particular right now? So in terms of traffic, um, the, the bits to the internet continue to double every year. Um, and we we don't see that slowing down because there are no use cases. There are companies running their applications in the cloud. Mm -hmm. um, commerce is going to the cloud, payment systems, uh, and of course media. Uh, and video in particular uses a lot of bandwidth. So we're seeing all of that grow uh, in terms of consumption. We are also, I think, working on pricing, continue to be more efficient in that as we scale. You're bringing prices down? We, in we the do bring term. prices down, yeah. Well, we, we continue to bring prices down every year. Uh, by, by finding ways to use technology to make the internet more efficient. Uh, because as companies rely more and more on it, mm -hmm. as people rely more and more on it, it's got to be more cost effective. You've also got more and more competition in there. You've got the level threes of the world. You've got other companies uh, competing uh, for this line of business. How do you try to win back market share, hold on to market share? Yeah. and Is it non-pricing? No. Well, the, and, and the competition is only in one part of it, which is the sort of basic delivery of bits, which is less than half our company. A lot of what we're doing is adding more value on top of that, adding value with security solutions, adding value by being able to get the content to all devices. People are now using iPads and connected devices, um, game consoles, so we're adding value in that way. Yeah, how, how much of a percentage is coming from mobile right now in terms of your business? Uh, we don't know for sure the total mobile consumption because if it goes through Wi-Fi, it looks to us the same as the fixed internet. Mm -hmm. the, the 3G and 4G networks are still pretty small, but I think in terms of total consumption, including through Wi-Fi, it could, it could be 20% or more of the total traffic. Uh, but uh, on dominating the market share or winning back that market, because the analyst reports that have come out most recently on your company, I mean, we've seen the stock trading at a 52-week low uh, yep. just very recently. So these questions about market share are really important to analysts right now. How do you keep it? Listen, I think the uh, I think people care about the company overall. So they care about its revenue and its profits. Um, 
certainly we're competitive on the market share and it's, it's not an easy thing to measure. I think the more important thing is that we're continuing to add more value in the way that the network is used. We've got a real scale advantage in the network, but we've got to make it, we've got to help the cloud computing scale. Uh, we've got to connect with other companies as we did with Riverbed and Rackspace and IBM to be a part of their cloud solutions. We've got to find solutions for payment systems, which we're doing in security. Um, and of course, we've got to continue to deliver video at high quality. And the more people care about quality, they come to us. We're not just going to play a, a price game. We, we absolutely are about value add. What's the most misunderstood thing about the company or about the stock price right now? Well, I think people start with that CDN model, which was our original first product, um, and they don't understand that that's the minority of what we do today. Mm -hmm. So if you look at our underlying growth, if you look at the expansion of our profitability, that's from investment in a lot of value add for other use cases, for cloud computing, for live events, for commerce, for dynamic content, all of which is done in a different way than the original CDN business. And, and I don't think I don't think we've done a good job or or for whatever reason, people don't fully understand the full range of our, our value added services today. All right. Well, thanks for coming on and uh, trying to tell part of that story to us today. I appreciate your time.